stations. Clear the air lanes. Clear all air lanes for the big broadcast. What do you expect to find prepared to descend to the top secret Sven cave? I mean, nobody else would be bringing you the huge, frightening animal menace we have this week because mankind is about to be menaced by giant bunnies. Fuzzy bunnies! Exactly. When the rabbit population begins to overwhelm ranchers in the southwest, a biologist experiments with a way to make the rabbit population smaller, but instead succeeds in making the bunnies bigger. My God, look at the rats. No, they're rabbits. Uh, before long, the long-eared leviathans are in a path of destruction, ready to attack Stuart Whitman, Janet Lee, Star Trek's Bones to Forrest Kelly, and anyone even slightly resembling a carrot as they hippity-hop to horror in The Night of the Lepus. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, Lepus is Latin for rabbit or bad special effects. And we're throwing in a couple classic spend bits we did when we first ran this movie about a quarter of a century ago, so be prepared for some dated jokes and and mentions of commercial sponsors that we had back then. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. No, so do I. And <laughs> though this is a goofy movie, we want to warn you that there are some scenes that may be upsetting to younger and more sensitive viewers, but don't get too upset. In scenes where there is blood on the rabbits, they actually just used ketchup. Pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? No, that wouldn't look right. Now, as I head down to the Sven Cave, watch as the state of Arizona tries to keep these rabbits contained. And actually, that isn't that tough. There's a traditional way to keep them in place. Hairspray. 